Good morning, staff and students. Here are your announcements for Friday, November 22nd. I'm Chase Barton. And I'm Landon Stive. Thanks for joining us. We don't have any birthdays today, but celebrating over the weekend are Xavier Manning, Demetrius Sculfus, Michaela Farrell, Emily Holcomb, and Colton Yarborough. Happy birthday to all of you. On Monday during lunches, students who volunteered to participate in the R-Factor student group will meet in room 217. If you didn't originally volunteer but would like to participate, please join us during your lunchtime. Anyone who has a fifth period lunch should report to the cafeteria by 1030. Pick up their lunch and take it to room 217 so we can start our meeting by 1040. For those of you who have a sixth period lunch, please report to the cafeteria by 1120. Pick up your lunch and take it to room 217. You will not report to home room Monday and there will be separate meetings for each lunch group. Any questions, see Mr. Panthlone or Mrs. Tyre. In other news, NHS is doing their part to help others in our community. Do you need a winter coat or shoes? Imagine not having money for these items. Some students don't. Please support National Honor Society's CAP Day, which stands for Caring About People. Pay $1 to wear a hat Tuesday, November 26th. All money raised will go to helping students in need. It's time to reveal this week's mystery music artist. Let's review the clues so far. This artist is 26 years old, was born in Florida, is known for their wide vocal range, and was named the most followed woman on Instagram earlier this year. So who do you think it is? Uh, probably Lady Gaga. That's a good guess. Let's go to Dylan, who has the answer. Well, I thought this was a pretty easy one. It was Ariana Grande. We'll be back in the summer with our next mystery music artist. Back to you. Thanks, Dylan. In other news, the Firelands Challenge team fell to South Central and Lakota High School. Yesterday in Match 5, the regular season match will take place Thursday, December 12th at 9.30 against St. Mary's in Huron. Best of luck to our Firelands Challenge team. Leadership Council is helping the Baton Pajama Drive bring a pair of brand new PJs to a home basketball game before December 13th and get one free item from the concession stand. There are two girls' games and two boys' games. Bring PJs to the concession stand. And we have one sports result to report. On Wednesday, the Redskin bowling teams had their season opener against the Sandusky Blue Streaks. The varsity boys were led by Rock Scott with a 387 series but fell to the Blue Streaks. The varsity girls were led by Doris Husky with a 300 series but also lost. The JV boys, led by Tommy Brooks, were victorious. Last night, they hosted the Edison Chargers and the Varsity Boys, led by Brendan Burnett with a 368 series, won 2506 to 2309. The Varsity Girls team fell to Edison and were led by Kaylin Webster. The JV boys were again victorious, led by Riley Burnett. The Redskins host Clyde on Tuesday. That concludes today's announcements. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend.